What's up everyone? Now I'm not going to get super technical here as I don't believe it's the right forum to do so, and I'm definitely not a lawyer, but I hope it inspires you to do your own research and form your own conclusions. Now first off, shout out to Alejandro and Lund for pushing this really hard in the Mustang community. Now in broad terms, the EPA is moving from a seemingly focused attention on shutting down those street driven coal rollers to the aftermarket automotive industry in general under their interpretation of the Clean Air Act. Now, effectively, there is no legislation that specifically protects the conversion of a street legal vehicle to something exclusively for competition use. So you can't take a street car and turn it into a race car. Now, this is why I support the RPM Act, as it's going to specifically protect this process. Now, because there is no protection that's spelled out, the EPA can essentially come after you or the shop that is doing the work for you, and they are. A few quick examples. N-Gage is gone, and many tuners no longer even support it because obvious reasons. Um, Easy Link is under a major lawsuit. VMP was hit and settled a lawsuit. Stainless Works no longer supplies anything listed as off-road. And Lund was investigated. Then there's definitely more. As an individual, the probability is probably pretty low because they're going to target the big fish first, but there really isn't any legal room for compromise, which is why I think this legislation is necessary. Now, unfortunately for manufacturers, simply listing something as for off-road use only isn't good enough. The blame for the individual's actions can and is laid at the manufacturer's or tuner's feet, which in my opinion is a very dangerous way to approach things and it sets a very dangerous precedent, especially when applied to other areas of life. Now from a tuning perspective, this means everything from standalones to handhelds can be targeted. If you're a manufacturer or a tuner in a state that is emissions exempt, it doesn't matter. The EPA is federal. Without protection afforded by actual legislative action, you may be at risk of a visit. Now what really gets me is the country's been shut down for a year and many people are in desperate need of income and this industry thrives off of discretionary income so it's going to be even hit harder and it's being followed up with another governing body dropping the hammer on small businesses. Now if you support the industry or rather the people in the industry I ask that you push for your representatives to get this legislation through and protect them and make your voice heard. Thank you.